Bible? <laughs> well, hi, Jerry. Hi. What's the matter? It's old man Taylor. Who's old man Taylor? My new teacher. He gave me a D in arithmetic. Oh, dear. Just when you were doing so well with Mrs. Lucas. Yeah. Why'd you have to go and have a baby right in the middle of one division? Well, I'm sure if you work harder, you'll do better. I wish he'd have a baby and quit. <laughs> hey, kids, guess what? I, uh, I got a referee for your game. No kidding! Who? It's me. Who's father's mister? It's me! <laughs> this is the most embarrassing day in my entire life. <laughs> I got a great idea. Is it anything like the last one? <laughs> what do you got under that bathrobe? Nothing. What's that bulge? I guess I put on some extra weight. <laughs> Come on now, Jerry. Tell me, who hit you? I don't dare. Why not? Because if the person who hit me finds out I told, I'll have two of these. <laughs> Jerome, would you go to your room, dear? I'd like to talk to Sherman's mother alone. What are you waiting for, Jerry? We have the same room. <laughs> so? He'll clobber me again. We'll do it as soon as you get home from school this afternoon. Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. I can't. I have to stay after school. Oh, dear. Penmanship again? No, the teacher says I'm getting to write pretty good now. Well, what is it then? Now that she can read my writing, she found out that I don't know how to spell. <laughs> Well, what's come over you two, washing in the middle of the day? We're going to the Y. So? They frown on filth. <laughs> Doesn't she look adorable? Anybody would look adorable, surrounded by all that ice cream. <laughs> you look so cute in that outfit. Thank you, Mrs. Bagley. <laughs> Aren't you going to say something nice to Cynthia? I'll have a banana split. <laughs> a banana split, that'll spoil your dinner. I know, but what a way to spoil it! <laughs> hey, there's something wrong with the picture. I'll fix it. You better let me do it, Mom. You're not very mechanical. Oh, gee, kids, I'm sorry. I think the set's broken. Oh, broken? Oh. I did all my homework for nothing. <laughs> Nobody ever died from too much spelling. All right, Chris, you're not his mother. Thank goodness. <laughs> I know what we used to do when I was a kid. We used to gather around the piano and sing songs on Sunday night. With Mitch Miller? No, not with Mitch Miller. <laughs> King of two. Not one, but two. Such a boring evening. <laughs> exactly. They're your things and they're scattered all over the room. Now, how does this look? It looks lived in. What <laughs> oh. happened to Fallen, Phil? Oh, I, I slipped on Jerry's little racing car. Thanks. I wondered where that was. <laughs> Hi, don't tramp on the floor. I just waxed it. Whee! Jerry, I just asked you not to do that. Why did you do it? Well, boys will be boys. <laughs> this is the first time the five of us have ever spent Christmas together. Yeah, I'm sure glad we're not going to Grandma's. Oh, honey, I thought you liked to go to Grandma's. You always have so much fun. Yeah, but it's hardly worth all that kissing. <laughs> <laughs> white tree and we're going to have a white tree. We're going to have a green tree. A white tree. A green tree. White. Tree. Green. White. Green. White. Green. White. Hey! We're... Whatever happened to? Tis the season to be jolly. <laughs> That's right, Tommy. If you don't believe me, come and see for yourself. I bet we're the only people in the world with two Christmas trees. One is green and one is, you'll pardon the expression, white. <laughs> Mr. Edward at the Y invited Jerry and me to go caroling on Christmas Eve. He did. At first he said Jerry couldn't go because he was too little. Yeah, I sang White Christmas and there wasn't a dry eye in the house. <laughs> We're all ready to go caroling. Well, honey, do you know the words to all the carols? All but Good King Winslow. If they sing that, I'll just have to fake it. 
Wait till you see what I have planned for the stroke of midnight. Where's Jerry? He won't come down. Why not? He says he feels silly. <laughs> Jerry, come down here. Yeah. <laughs> a perfect fool. <laughs> if you ask me, I think it's square. Or once I agree with my sister. <laughs> I think it's corny, too. Am I the only one that thinks it's cute? <laughs> All right, forget it, kid. Thank goodness. Good. Waiter, a oh, waiter. Yes, sir? Another round of dessert. Yes, sir. Another round of dessert. Oh, not for me, thank you. Two's my limit. Boy, staying up for New Year's Eve, eating in a restaurant, and having three desserts. Isn't this neat? Yeah, how long has this been going on? <laughs> while they lasted. Yes. Jerry, honey, come on, wake up. Is it New Year's yet? Not yet, honey. Boy, it takes forever. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to ask you a question. Yes, Cub Carmichael? Why are we standing around making small talk when there's refreshments in the kitchen? Oh. Uh, Sherman, do you really get to sleep on the train? Jerry, dinner and breakfast, too. I must say, being a Cub's got to sure enriching my life. Yeah. The trouble is, you're not getting the bat around fast enough. Keep squeezing, Jerry. Maybe the bat's too heavy for him. Oh? What do you think, Jerry? The bat's not too heavy. I'm too light. <laughs> hey, it also helps if he can rattle the pitcher. Good idea. How do you rattle the pitcher? You scare him. You, you look mean and you snarl at him. <laughs> okay, Jerry, let's see what you can do. Okay. Take a good swing now. What's the matter? I can't hold the bat. Why not? <laughs> what happened? I squeezed the ball so much my fingers are exhausted. <laughs> well, you poor little thing. I guess you've had enough practice for tonight. You go to bed, sweetheart. Okay. Good night, Mom. Good night, dear. Rap! <laughs> What's that? I was practicing my snow. Oh. <laughs> that ought to scare the pitcher. Yeah, especially if he walks up to the plate to kiss you goodnight. <laughs> there, there it goes. Oh. Steer right three, you're out. Oh, no. That was no strike. I know, but you swung at it. It's not fair. I was snarling it. Threw off my timing. <laughs> What do you do with all those bugs? This is my nature craft project. Those creepy things? I told you I was collecting bugs. Oh, bugs. I thought you said buds. <laughs> no, like rose buds, camellia buds, magnolia buds. Mom, I'm a Cub Scout, not a campfire girl. Where are you going? To bed. Aren't you going to finish the project? What's the use without my prize butterfly? This is the most blackest day of my entire life. <laughs> How come you're always the last one to finish eating? I have the smallest mouth. <laughs> you better give us a rest, Captain, or you're going to have your first mutiny. <laughs> come on, honey, I have a home barber kit, and from now on, I'm going to cut your hair at home. Not your only son. <laughs> Now, how would you like your hair cut? By somebody else. <laughs> Hello there. Well, Jordan. what went on in school today, dear? The same old jazz. Well, we'll get tickets for you fellas, and you can go to the game. No thanks. I don't think I want to go either. Why? Why not? Well, gee, we went to every game this season, and you and Aunt Lucy never got to play once. Well. It was the most humiliating summer I've ever spent. <laughs> <laughs> what is she doing? She's throwing Eddie some kisses over the phone. 
Well, if you got a kiss, that's the only way to do it. <laughs> okay, Eddie. Well, looks like that leaves just you and me, Jerry. I can't go either. Why not? Don't you remember Billy Simmons is having a dumb old birthday party? <laughs> oh, that's right. What's so dumb about a birthday party? He invited girls. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, uh, what's the matter with that? Yeah, girls are neat. When you get older, Jerry, you'll like girls. I should live so long. <laughs> What's the matter with you? This is payday. <laughs> oh, sorry, dear. At the risk of being unemployed, can I ask you a question? Sure, what is it? Why don't we convert to oil? <laughs> Well, because Mr. Mooney at the bank says we can't afford to. It costs too much. He's a stingy old skin flint. Now, Jerry, you shouldn't talk about Mr. Mooney like that. That's what you called him last week. <laughs> yeah, well, never mind. Oh, listen, before you spend all that money at the candy store, how about giving some to our hospital helpers fund? I just gave you some money last month. That was for the volunteer fireman's fund. Well, okay. Is that all you can afford, a nickel? Don't forget, with me, contributions aren't deductible. <laughs> this is little Jerry. Hi. Hi. I believe you know my father. Oh? Oh, of course, Mr. Mooney. Oh, oh, yes, we were just talking about him. Uh, yeah, yeah, you go get dressed. Uh, get <laughs> oh, how did you get so dirty? I was shoveling snow. Oh. Well, we had a little accident. <laughs> Well, what were you treating the patient for? A sprained finger. Well, girl, don't you think you got a little carried away? I look like a short mummy. Hi, sweetheart. Is the band going to rehearse again this afternoon? That's right. If I have to go up that lazy river one more time, I'll get seasick. They're paying boarders, and if it's their business, if they want to play the same tune over and over. And over and over and over. Never mind now. I'm going to Peter's house. It's so peaceful there, his whole family is tone deaf. <laughs> and we need this trip to complete our project on Indian lore. Yeah, our dude hasn't completed one project all year. We may be the first Cub Scouts to ever be court-martialed. <laughs> Lucy, maybe we could do a Charleston. Oh, then we could dress like flappers. Oh, sure. A bum, bum. Yeah. Da, ha, da, 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 da. Ba, ba, da, 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 da. How about that? Don't call us. We'll call you. Thank you, Sherman Bagley. You were sensational. In just a moment, we'll bring you our big production number. But first, if there are three flies in the kitchen, which one is the cowboy? The one on the range. <laughs> well, so much for humor. Oh, Jerry Carmichael, that's supposed to be a surprise for your birthday Saturday. Let me write it now, and I promise I'll be surprised Saturday. Oh, all right, honey. Happy birthday, dear. Happy birthday, darling. Thanks. 